Hello, my name is Philip Rode and I'm going to present the paper Truff Shackle Efficiently Validating Networks of Shackle Constraints. This paper is joint work with Monica Figuera and Maria Estavida. Recently, knowledge graphs have gained momentum. There are many knowledge graphs in use. For example, DBpedia, Wikidata, knowledge graphs in industries, and also in big companies. Due to their growing importance, knowledge graphs are also used in data analytics tasks. However, many of the commonly known knowledge graphs suffer from quality issues even if they are curated. The Shapes Constraint Language, Shackle for short, is the language for formulating integrity constraints on RDF knowledge graphs. These constraints are expressed in RDF, making it easy to define constraints once one is familiar with RDF itself. Shackle is the W3C recommendation language for defining integrity constraints on RDF graphs. Shackle is also used in the International Data Spaces Reference Architecture. Shackle is the standard to specify integrity constraints on RDF knowledge graphs. Imagine an RDF knowledge graph of a university system. The knowledge graph contains four classes, namely university, professor, department, and course. In Shackle, we call the set of constraints belonging to the same targets in the knowledge graph a shape. All shapes have one constraint in common. The entities of the class have exactly one name. Additionally, professors have at least one email address, but professors also have at least one doctoral degree from a university. These intershape constraints can be represented as edges between the nodes. The same applies for the other relationships between the classes. We call a set of shackle shapes and their relationships a shackle network. Shackle represents intra- and intershape integrity constraints on RDF knowledge graphs. Given the shackle network of the university system and a knowledge graph with about 1 million triples accessible via a Sparkle endpoint, there are several possibilities to evaluate the network. For example, a random traversal professor course department university. It takes about 8.4 seconds to evaluate the network given this order, since all the data needs to be loaded from the endpoint. Evaluation of professors is delayed until the end because the shape depends on the validation result of the university shape. Another possibility is to follow the links between the shapes, department, university, professor, curse. This order is slightly faster, but it still takes 6.7 seconds. Following the links between shapes gives an opportunity to increase the performance. Departments and professors can be validated after evaluating the next shape. A more sophisticated traversal order would be university, department, professor, and curse. It only takes about half a second to evaluate the network given this order. The knowledge from previously validated shapes can be used to improve the performance. This shows the benefits of exploiting knowledge already gained by the engine. The shackle validation time depends on the size of the knowledge graph, the size of the shackle network, the data quality, and the traversal order. There are many fragments of shackle. Some of them are tractable while others are not. In our work, we focused on three tractable fragments of shackle. Even though they limit the expressiveness of shackle, they should still cover most real-world use cases. The selected shackle fragments express recursive networks without negation. Today, I will present our approach named Trout Shackle, followed by the experimental study. I will close the presentation with conclusions and future work. Given a shackle network and an RDF knowledge graph accessible via a Sparkle endpoint, the goal is to classify the instances in the knowledge graph based on the result of the evaluation of the shackle network, that is, whether or not they meet all the constraints. From this classification, a shackle network validation report can be generated to comply with the shackle specification. First, 
a serial order of the shapes in the Shackle network has to be found such that the validation result of the Shackle network and the serial order are the same. And the validation time of the serial order is minimal with respect to the validation time of all serial orders that have the same validation result as the Shackle network. Finally, the validation of the Shackle network based on the serial order has to be executed. We are tackling the problem of efficiently validating Shackle networks. We named our approach Draft Shackle. It efficiently evaluates the Shackle network over an RDF knowledge graph accessible via a Sparkle endpoint. Draft Shackle is a twofold approach. The intershape planner finds the serial order of the shapes in the Shackle network. Given this order, the intra-shape planner and execution validates the Shackle network in an interleaved fashion. First, the intershape planner creates different graph-based measures over the Shackle network, like for example the in and out degree distribution. Additionally, a dependency graph is generated from the shapes and their relationships to each other. Based on the previously computed measures, a seed shape is selected, that is, the shape that will be evaluated first. Given the dependency graph and the seed shape, the traversal order is generated following either BFS or DFS. For this step, the direction of the edges in the dependency graph is ignored. The interleaved execution collects the data needed to evaluate each shape from the Sparkle endpoint. As soon as the first results arrive, data lock like rules are generated. These rules are checked for satisfiability in the saturation process. Once an entity of the knowledge graph is invalidated, all rules containing this entity in the rule body are skipped to avoid unnecessary checking of constraints. Imagine the engine found a professor without an email address. This entity cannot fulfill the constraints of the shape and hence the other constraints do not need to be checked. This interleaved execution continues to run until a fixed point is reached. In addition to the interleaved execution, Draft Shackle also optimizes the Sparkle queries sent to the endpoint to minimize their execution time. Non-selective queries are partitioned to enable incremental answer generation. Additionally, the target definition of the shape is included in the constrained queries, making them more selective. The query writing component also pushes filters into the target and constrained queries to exploit the knowledge already gained by previously evaluated neighboring shapes. In our example, eight of 1000 universities are valid. This knowledge is exploited when executing the target query of the professors by including the constraints for a doctoral degree from one of those valid universities. In order to get all entities of the professor class, a complementary query is also sent to the endpoint. In doing so, Draft Shackle can immediately invalidate 1260 of the 1267 professors in the knowledge graph without checking any rule. Draft Shackle reduces the validation time and produces results incrementally. Outputs are generated as soon as entities are invalidated or validated. Results are generated continuously. In our experimental study, we investigated the impact of the traversal order, the size of the knowledge graph, and the size of the Shackle network on the validation time. We generated 27 data sets with data from the Lumen benchmark. We compare nine configurations of our approach with the state-of-the-art Shackle validation engine Shackle to Sparkle and a Python implementation of that engine due to the performance differences in Python and Java. We report on average validation time, standard deviation, and die efficiency at time t. We evaluate three different Shackle networks of different sizes. Network 1 is the smallest with only three shapes. Network 3 covers all 14 classes in the data. The data sets can be categorized by their size and data quality. The small data sets have 1 million triples, the medium ones 4.26 million, and the large ones 34.1 million RDF triples. We consider a data set to be of high quality if less than a third of the instances violate the constraints. Otherwise, we refer to them as being of low quality. 
we created an experimental setup to study the impact of the knowledge graph and shackle network size, the data quality, and the traversal order on the validation time and continuous behavior. We report on the average validation time in seconds for all engines. Error bars indicate the standard deviation. For the continuous behavior, we select the two baseline approaches and the best configuration of trough shackle and generated the answer trace plot for them to visualize the continuous generation of answers. From this data, we then compute the die efficiency at time t, a measure for the continuous behavior, computed as the area under the curve of the answer trace. A higher value means a steadier generation of answers. The performance of the shackle engines is reported in terms of validation time and continuous behavior. The latter is measured as die efficiency at time t. For high quality knowledge graphs, draft shackle creates the answer steadier than the state of the art, with an exception for the small knowledge graphs, where the state of the art slightly outperforms our approach. In the case of the high quality knowledge graphs, two of the shapes comprise 70% of all entities. All entities of these two shapes are valid. The results suggest that evaluating high quality knowledge graphs is costly, but nevertheless, Draft Shackle is able to continuously produce results. However, in low quality knowledge graphs, the difference in the continuous behavior is more prominent. This is due to the fact that Draft Shackle is able to invalidate entities as soon as possible. Remember, in the example, 1260 of the 1267 professors were immediately invalidated after executing the target query. The state of the art will still generate the rules for those professors just to realize that they are invalid. Draft Shackle avoids the generation of unnecessary rules. In high quality graphs, the performance of Draft Shackle and Shackle to Sparkle is compatible. It is worth mentioning that Shackle to Sparkle has the edge in small knowledge graphs. However, Truff Shackle does outperform the Python implementation of Shackle to Sparkle in all testbeds. The results suggest that evaluating the constraints over a high quality graph is costly. Furthermore, avoiding the generation of unnecessary rules adds overhead in small high quality knowledge graphs as the Sparkle endpoint becomes the bottleneck. Draft Shackle clearly outperforms the state of the art when the data quality of the knowledge graph is low. In this case, Draft Shackle benefits from its early detection of invalid entities. Those results suggest that Draft Shackle scales up better than the state of the art even in large high quality knowledge graphs and despite the fact that Draft Shackle benefits from low data quality. Draft Shackle scales up due to the use of selective queries. As described before, the target definition of the shape is also included in the constraint queries to make them more selective. To conclude, not all traversal orders can be evaluated equally fast, even though they produce the same result. Draft Shackle is a twofold approach, optimizing the Shackle network validation at an intershape and an intrashape level. We study data sets of different sizes and different data qualities. The performance is dependent on the data quality, size, and traversal order. Checking the constraints in a high quality data set is costly. Draft Shackle's performance benefits from low quality data. Future work, we will investigate adaptive planning techniques to adjust the validation order based on the characteristics of both the Shackle network and the RDF knowledge graph. We also want to exploit other web interfaces to access RDF data, like for example linked data fragments or SOLID as an implementation of the linked data platform. Another part of our future agenda is to evaluate other shackle fragments than the ones we focused on in this work. Thanks for your attention.